Scotland Yard tried to blacken my name and destroy my career. That is the explosive claim from the former Cabinet Minister Andrew Mitchell, who has lodged a formal complaint against the police over the alleged leak of a report into the Plebgate affair. The Conservative Party chairman said if there had been a stitch-up, it would be of great concern. And another senior Tory has called for the Met Police Commissioner to give fresh evidence to MPs looking into the affair. Porrig O'Brien has more. Could the relationship between Andrew Mitchell and the Metropolitan Police get any worse? Yes, it could. On Thursday, the Met sent a report of their investigation into Plebgate to the Crown Prosecution Service. On Friday, the newspapers were reporting on its content. It looked like a leak. Mr Mitchell wrote to the Independent Police Complaints Commission. We are deeply dismayed that the Met Police appear to have leaked part of their report prepared for the CPS to certain members of the press and spun it to the advantage of the police officers involved. This was an inquiry into a dishonest and illicit attempt to blacken my name and destroy my career. It would appear that this police inquiry continues precisely that process. In today's Sunday Times, former Tory leader Michael Howard and David Davis MP joined in on the attack against the Met. In January, the police commissioner appeared before the Home Affairs Select Committee and assured them he'd get to the bottom of what happened. And indeed, so far, four people, including three police officers, have been arrested. Today, though, this from one member of the committee. This really does raise further questions. And for my part, an individual member of the committee, I wonder if we should not have Bernard Hogan Howe come back in front of us to explain how this new leak has taken place. Bernard Hogan Howe will be furious about all of this, not least because it detracts from his core crime-fighting agenda, dubbed total policing. For him, all of this will be totally distracting. The chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee went a step further today, calling for the Independent Police Complaints Commission to take over. I think it's important that the IPCC uses this information that's been gathered and conducts an investigation and concludes the investigation themselves, free from political pressure. The relationship that really matters here, of course, is the one between the police and the government. And the government are in wait and see mode. It's obviously a worry um, to think that it's possible that uh, somebody, a cabinet minister, uh, could be effectively stitched up. But let's see if that's what the full investigation has shown in the fullness of time. With the report to the CPS this week, many thought it was all over. It's not now.